Hello, hi everybody. Uh, this is Midnight, and today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my uh, knowledge and my information on owning a Siberian Husky. Um, this is Amber, everyone. She is a six-year-old Siberian Husky. She was about a year when I got her, and um, I'm going to give you my tips, my five general tips on if you guys want to get a Siberian Husky, what to expect, and everything else. Uh, my first number one tip is to really study and read about this dog. Uh, this dog does require a whole lot of maintenance, such as brushing, exercising. Um, you need to be really, really active when you are when you have this dog. You need to be really, 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 really active. Um, you cannot be a couch potato if you want to have this dog. Um, second. Um, I would recommend getting a pet vacuum cleaner, a really good b vacuum cleaner. The one I re re recommend is a Bissell. Uh, I do have a Bissell vacuum cleaner. There's a link, there's a card over there where you can actually go and uh, and get that type of brand of vacuum cleaner or it, the link will be in the description below on where you actually guys can get a, a Bissell pet vacuum cleaner. Pet vacuum cleaners are a little bit uh, more um, powerful, durable, and they're able to withstand uh, uh, pet hair, uh, especially if you have one that sheds a lot like the ones I do. So that's the second tip. The third tip is uh, Siberian Huskies also have, some of them have a high anxiety level like amber over here when this little bad little girl is left by herself she tears up the house so if she does have if you if you do, do have a husky that has separation anxiety i would recommend try not leaving her alone for a very very long time or getting a chew toy or a kong or some peanut butter or one of those um marrow bones something that will keep her busy and keep the item that she's she's going to be chewing up out of her sight this little bad girl only chews up stuff that's in her sight if it's not in her sight she won't chew up anything um, like toilet paper cords wires um, this little devious bad little girl right here has chewed up a lot of my things I actually have videos of all those those would be in there where you can see how badly this girl was when I left her alone. Um, another, uh, the, um, uh, that, that's what you do if you get a dog that has, uh, separation anxiety. Try not leaving them alone for a long period of time or get them something that will keep them occupied. Um, the fourth tip I have for you if you're going to get a Siberian Husky make sure you're able to deal with the hair uh, as uh, my house is actually covered with hair tons of it and if you can't deal with the hair do not get the dog you're going to have tons of hair all over your house everywhere and I mean everywhere mine is all over my hair uh, car clothes everywhere um so be able to deal with the hair. Um, the second thing, I would say the fifth and final tip that I have to give you guys if you're going to get a Siberian Husky, um, um, be able to uh, exercise with them a lot, burn off their energy, uh, give them lots of love, attention, and stuff like that. Um, And a little bonus tip is um, just be very patient with this dog. Um, like I said, they do require high maintenance, uh, a lot of high maintenance, and um, they are going to require a lot of your time. So if you don't have a whole lot of time to spend with them, I, I highly recommend you not get the dog. Um, um, Adding on to also on the fifth tip is if you live in an apartment and if you don't think that you can have a Siberian Husky in an apartment, you actually can have a Siberian Husky in an apartment. Um, you just need to make sure that you take the dog out 
and exercise in dog parks, I would say at least three times a day and regularly. And, um, and you should be fine. Um, uh, that's if you don't have a house with a big backyard. So uh, those are my five tips on getting a Siberian Husky and I hope these tips be wonderful I will also recommend you getting a book watching other people's videos who have um, dog who have Siberian Huskies there are a lot of good channels out there that I would highly recommend you go and watch there's uh, 60 formula um, does it be in the cars go watch them he has he has awesome, awesome tips on uh, Siberian Huskies. Um, he's great. I would highly recommend it. And uh, also go watch Gone to the Snow Dogs. They also have uh, Siberian Huskies and they have a great tip. Those are the two best channels in the entire world that I have watched and encouraged me to get a Siberian Husky and I actually have three of them and it's because of those two channels. Um, I've watched those channels from the longest I have had before I even got a Siberian Huskies and both of those two have uh, the best dog tip videos in the entire world. So if you see this video and I mentioned go 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 subscribe to those channels. You know, um, their 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 uh, their channel will be in the cards, and you can also go support them. You can also go subscribe to them at the end of this video, and tell them that uh, Midnight Sky Wolf and Sixty Four Man and, all, and uh, Go to the Snow Dogs. If you see this video, um, I, I will probably send a link to you in your. And one of your newest videos if you see the this video um you know and you get new subscribers you guys are very very welcome and maybe in return you guys can tell them to come subscribe to my channel okay everyone uh thank you for wa watching and um please go follow us on please go follow us on twitter and instagram and please and please go in um um and don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe and and uh hit that bell to get notifications when we upload a video and uh may the spirit of wolf be with you and until we meet again next time in paradise and if you decide to get a siberian husky such as this little beauty right here just remember to give them lots of love because they really do appreciate that um amber happens to be my third dog um she was my th third dog after uh, Charlie. You guys may not know Charlie. Charlie was a Siberian Husky lab mix. He he passed away two years ago, and he was a fun-loving dog. Um, if you want to see him, there are other videos. You you have to go way back into my uh, library of videos to actually go and see him. But he was a really sweet dog. I do miss him. Everest does remind me a lot of Charlie, but. He was a wonderful and beautiful dog, and I loved him so much. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please comment, please write, please subscribe, and always, uh, may the spirit of will be with you until we meet again next time in paradise. Okay, everyone? Bye.